Hi, hello and welcome. My name is Danielle. I'm here from Vital Plus today and I'm really excited to talk to you about our sequential skin range. Now sequential skin has these incredible masks and everything to do with them about treating the microbiome. I'm going to talk about where they started. I'm going to talk about skin's microbiome and then I'm going to talk about their incredible salon masks that we can use in all our treatments and we can also retail as well. These treatments are just incredible and can be incorporated into any salon alongside any range. So let's have a look at sequential skin and where it all started. So you can see here, there's a man here and he's got a little patch on his head. So what he's doing here is he's testing the skin. He's testing the skin's traits, genetic traits, and in particular things like the skin's um, disposition to glycation, aging, its hydration and sensitivity. Um, but what is incredible here is that Sequential created a product that can actually test the skin's microbiome. So Sequential Skin is a result of the founder's passion for molecular genetics and skin health. So the founders are CEO and co-founder, Dr. Oliver Walsley, co-founder and the science officer, Dr. Albert Dashi. And Albert Dashi will be coming to the Beauty Expo this year in 2023. And, and he will be talking about the microbiome and about sequential skin. Petronil is also part of the team and she's the skincare expert. So the sequential skin test is a next generation skin microbiome test able to help with identification, analysis and early stratification of your skin's unique microbiome. They are the first company to actually be able to test the health of the microbiome on our skin. The sequential skin test will also, as I say, it will test for genetic dispositions to things like hydration, glycation, pigmentation, and sensitivity. So we get a report, and in that report, it will tell us after the test, once we peel that off and you send that back, and they'll analyze that, and then you get this great report telling you how your skin actually responds to hydration, what its glycation capabilities are, the pigmentation and sensitivity. It will also give us a report of our skin's biological age as well. Um, and then we receive that report on the different microbes that are present on the skin. So this allows us to know exactly how we can best treat the skin's microbiome and address any imbalances in the skin's microbiome. Now, what's really interesting with this, we can do the patch test, and then we can use these incredible masks that Sequential have created to help improve the microbiome of our skin. And then we can retest this. Um, look at the skin again and what you'll find often is that the skin's biological age has gone down considerably so the health of the skin will improve but our skin's natural biological age will actually decrease as well so the skin is going to act and look younger so the solution once we've looked at this microbiome and the way of actually improving the microbiome is going to be these sequential skin masks these beautiful patch masks so they come in perfect solution and they balance the skin's microbiome and they improve the skin's health and your skin's biological age. So I just wanted to start by just clarifying what we're talking about when we talk about the microbiome. It's a word that's sort of thrown around a lot. So it is definitely part of the skin barrier. So it's sometimes referred to as a skin flora. It's a complex ecosystem of thousands of microorganisms which make up lots of different types of bacteria and fungi on the skin. So among other things, the microbiome guards you against potential pathogens that can affect your skin, helps to protect the skin and its immune system. The skin barrier is also protecting the microbiome there. It's also working in with the acid mantle, working in harmony to make up your first line of defense against the skin. So if we just recap here on the skin barrier, we have our lipid barrier. Then we have that acid mantle that should sit around 5, 5.5. And then working very closely in with that are these um, bacteria, this diverse bacteria on the skin surface, this microbiome. So what is the skin microbiome? So our microbiome is a natural collection of microorganisms that live symbiotically with our bodies. So we're made up um, of all these microbes on the skin and they live symbiotically with us. The skin microbiome alone is home to an estimated 1 trillion microorganisms made up of thousands of strains of bacteria, fungi, mites, yeast, and viruses. 
and we want them there, but we want them in good harmony. And that's where this sequential mask comes in. It helps to increase those bacteria, the beneficial bacteria and control the ones that can get a little bit out of hand. So these microorganisms are scattered throughout the skin barrier and the stratum corneum. Some sit on the surface and some burrow down into the pores. It's all intertwined. So it's an essential part of the body's immune system. It's intrinsically connected to our gut and our brain. And we're learning more and more that the skin's microbiome will communicate with the microbiome in the gut as well. So it's responsible for the functioning of the skin's barrier. It keeps you moisturized, exfoliated, protected. It balances that pH. A thriving microbiome is known to prevent eczema, rosacea, acne, and as I say, premature aging. So if our microbiome is balanced, the skin's going to be more useful. So our skin bacteria, skin cells, and immune cells are all in constant conversation. These interactions help to reinforce and repair the barrier formed by the skin, bolster the body's defenses against infection and reduce inflammation. So you can see how important these microbes are. Some of its one trillion microorganisms signal the skin to produce lipids like ceramides to keep the barrier strong and seal in internal hydration. Some feed off the sebum, the skin's natural moisturizer, and they help to keep those oil levels in check. A healthy skin microbiome means a stronger skin barrier. The skin barrier protects us, as I say, from injury, cold, heat, sun, wind, pathogens, bacteria, and viruses. It's vital for normal skin function. So you can see how important a healthy skin microbiome is. Now, these terms here are thrown around a lot, and I just wanted to clarify them. So we talk about prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. So probiotics are talked about a lot. Um, so just to skip down to the second title here. So these probiotics are the tiny living microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, and yeast. So these are the bacteria that are living on the skin. So these are live bacteria found in certain foods, supplements, and on our skin. Probiotics are live bacteria. So we used to go and buy a probiotic from the chemist and probiotics can help with gut health, but you're buying those bacteria and you're helping to boost the bacteria naturally found in the gut when we do that. When we have probiotics, um, there are some ranges out there that work with probiotics and they say that they're putting probiotics onto the skin. It can be very difficult to put live bacteria onto the skin because we don't know what's there necessarily. So sometimes if we're doing that, we're actually putting bacteria that we don't need onto the skin. So probiotics are the bacteria living on our skin. And what we do is sequential. We work more with prebiotics and postbiotics. And what I mean by that, prebiotics up the top here, these are substances that come from different types of carbs and fiber, specialized fibers. These prebiotics are essentially the food the bacteria live on. So if you imagine we have our probiotics, those bacteria on the skin, and then if we apply prebiotics to the skin, we can actually increase the amount of probiotics and improve the different types and variants of bacteria found on the skin. So we can get these prebiotics from fruits and vegetables and they help good bacteria thrive while inhibiting the growth of bad or um, not so beneficial bacteria. So to clarify, the prebiotics are the food for the bacteria or the probiotics. So what is a postbiotic? Because we work with postbiotics as well. So if you imagine your bacteria or these probiotics eat the prebiotics and they ferment them. And that is what a postbiotic is. So postbiotics are the byproduct of probiotics. The bacteria eats the prebiotics and the byproduct is the postbiotics. Postbiotics are really, really important for skin health. So postbiotics are short chain fatty acids. They produce peptides, amino acids and enzymes. And these are fermented by the live bacteria. You will see them referred to by names such as lactobacillus ferments. That is a postbiotic. So probiotics are key to skin health. That's that bacteria there. So these microorganisms are all like mini factories producing compounds that are both anti-inflammatory, they're humectant, and they promote a healthy, balanced skin. So you can see here in this image, we've got our probiotic bacteria here. Those prebiotics are the food, the probiotic ferments them, and then we end up with our postbiotics. So when we talk about the microbiome, it's very, very important that we have lots of diversity to have a healthy microbiome. So biodiversity is a key word when we're talking about the microbiome. So science has shown that the healthiest skin microbiome is one that houses a naturally rich and diverse microbe population. This means we need as many different species as possible of microbes living on the skin for it to be healthy. In addition, the diversity of microbes can influence the skin's ability to fight pathogens and deal with the effects of pollution. Conversely, if the skin microbiome is not diverse, we see a rise in inflammation in the skin 
skin, including acne, rosacea, and psoriasis. And this is due to an overgrowth of one particular species of bacteria. So it's all about keeping those bacteria all living in harmony together and at a really good balance. So the role of postbiotics on the skin microbiome. So the process that leads to postbiotics is that fermentation process. So that's the bacteria eating the prebiotic and fermenting it. So this breakdown of bacteria during the fermentation release all the nutrients inside the bacterial cell, making it perfect for nourishing the skin. Some of the fabulous ingredients that are created during the fermentation process include short chain fatty acids, peptides, amino acids, and enzymes. So postbiotics are going to have a hydrating and anti-inflammatory property. They also have the ability to strengthen the skin barrier, which makes them an ideal ingredient in skincare. Evidence is also now highlighting the value of postbiotics in anti-aging, which is really exciting. So we're all about using the prebiotic and the postbiotic in our masks here to really increase the diversity of the probiotic. Uh, the probiotic on the skin. So microbiome friendly products and treatments. So one of the most important considerations when choosing products and considering product is that they don't disturb the microorganisms on the skin. So there's products out there that will actually destroy probiotic on the skin. So we need to exclude really strong antimicrobial ingredients such as high concentrations of preservatives and harsh chemicals because they will start to destroy the bacteria on the skin. So there are certain treatments such as microdermabrasion, certain lasers and IPL, certain resurfacing treatments that can affect the microbiome of the skin. So it will affect those probiotics and the diversity of the microbes on the skin. It's not to say that we don't do those treatments, but what works really well is if we do do those treatments and then we use one of the sequential masks because they're rich in that prebiotic, which is going to feed the probiotic, which in turn is going to give us the postbiotic as well. So these masks work brilliantly in treatments in the salon. So the visible benefits of a healthy, diverse skin microbiome. So how does the skin look if we know we've got a healthy microbiome? You've got a really nice impaired skin barrier. We get an increase in hydration, a reduction in dryness and redness. There's less irritation. You'll massively see a reduction in acne breakouts because we talk about C acne, which is a probiotic. If that gets out of control, that bacteria can cause acne on the skin. It'll help to reduce any itching or sensitivity on the skin. It's going to maintain the natural pH balance. Really very good at reducing eczema and psoriasis and rosacea because, again, that is an imbalance on the microbiome. So we're going to have glowing, healthy looking skin and reduce the signs of aging. So it's going to prevent aging on the skin if our microbiome is healthy. So let's have a look at just a four of these bacteria. As I say, there's thousands of them, but we're going to look at some of the most prevalent ones. So I said C. acne. So C. acne is one of the ones that we recognize as causing acne on the skin. So that C. acne lives deep in our pores in the skin. It's another normal member of a healthy microbiome. But as it says here, this little cutie isn't so cute when too many of them show up. So if there's too many C. acne on the skin, this is when it can trigger inflammation and make the skin vulnerable to opportunities opportunistic bacteria that can cause more harm, like a staph infection and definitely acne breakout. Now, a bacteria that we want to see lots of is our S. epidermis. It's a bit like a bouncer at the door. So if we have a few of these living on the skin, it makes sure everyone at the party follows all the rules and respects the house is being held in. So it really helps to sort of um, prevent anything getting out of control, any mess, and it helps to strengthen the immune system and calm the skin and give us a healthy skin if we have that S. epidermis. L. acidophilus as well. This one here is an all round good guy. So L. acidophilus bacteria, this is a really good probiotic to have on the skin. It helps to control issues like acne and eczema, strengthens the skin immunity and helps prevent any nasty elements from the environment as well. So, if S. epidermis is the bouncer, we just talked about it, then SRS is the rebellious group that wants to sneak in. Now, too much of this, and we can end up with eczema, cellulitis, or even abscesses on the skin. That being said, it's all about the balance, and that's what we work with the sequential. It's keeping these bacteria balanced, because some of them are more opportunist than others, and they will take over. So when we're using the sequential masks, it's balancing and keeping them all there. So... Certain levels of this SRS are usually present in the skin microbiome without any issues. Having a diverse microbiome is important in making sure these levels are kept in check. 
So let's have a look at these masks now and what we're talking about with them. So each biomass formula contains the same blend of pre and postbiotic. So you'll find that in all the different masks, there's all prebiotic and postbiotic the same. And then we put support ingredients in there as well to treat different conditions like aging, loss of firmness, sensitivity, hydration, and even pigmentation. So our ingredients are preservative system have been carefully chosen to be mild for the skin. <clears throat> From optimal protection and skin compatibility, our masks are pH balanced. And each microbiome formula has been tested and has demonstrated the ability to balance the skin microbiome. So we're not using any irritants or fragrance, no essential oils, no formaldehyde releaser, and no sulfates. So let's have a look now at our prebiotic. And just to say again, the prebiotic are those carbohydrates that we're using to feed the microbiome, those probiotics. So we use tree hollows here, which is a corn extract, nice and high in sugar and carbohydrates for the skin. The fructose saccharides and things like um, found in garlic and certain um, fibrous. So that's again to feed the bacteria sorbitol as a carbohydrate or a sugar. And those are in all of the different masks. We also have some support ingredients and there'll be a few of them, but things like Alantoine, tocopherol, which is our vitamin E, niacinamide in there to help support those ingredients. So postbiotics, remember I said you have your probiotics, they consume the prebiotic and they ferment it and then you get your postbiotic. So the mask will also contain some postbiotics to really support that action in the skin. So lactobacillus ferment, lactic acid in there is a postbiotic and Saccharomyces ferment extract is also a postbiotic. So I just wanted to show you here because when you say what do I see with these masks, you really will see an improvement in the skin health and here you can see, can you see the skin sensitive, it's an uneven texture, the pores are quite open, the skin's not smooth. This is an unbalanced microbiome, it's a mild version of an unbalanced microbiome, you can see the skin's really not glowy and radiant. Here, this is a balanced microbiome. You can see the skin's very even, the texture's nice and smooth, those lumps and bumps have gone, and the skin looks smooth and radiant. So those are some before and afters. So we have five different types of masks. Remembering they've all got the same pre and postbiotic, and then we have different support ingredients depending on what we're trying to treat. So there's a calming box. And in the boxes, you will get five masks in a box. So there's going to be for purchase five different calming masks. And we'll go through how we use those later. We have skin hydration, and that's got five masks that work on hydrating the skin, again, with the same pre and postbiotic. Then we have a firming mask and that one there is going to work on firming and anti-aging, skin vitality, antioxidant and skin radiance. So each of those one, two, three, four, five masks you can buy separately in a box of five. We also have, I'll just move this over here, a 360 box and that's got five masks and it will have one of each of the masks for you to try and it's a really good way for you to experience the mask and see where you go with them and what result you're getting. So let's start with the skin calming mask. So as this sort of says in the name, it's a soothing and calming mask. This mask is fantastic to use for redness, inflammation and sensitivity. So it has those prebiotics and the postbiotics, but it also has support ingredients. And you've got colloidal oatmeal in here. So colloidal oatmeal is a cocktail of oats. And often we've talked about that being used on eczema. It's fantastic. Lots of essential fatty acids in there. Really good to reduce inflammation. So colloidal oatmeal locks in moisture in the skin barrier and also has soothing properties. The niacinamide in there, that will help to reduce the visibility of pores and remove dullness and restore the skin's barrier. Alantoine, soothing and calming, and that has your panthenol in there, which is your B5. It's hydrating, humectant, it tracks that moisture. So we're gonna be working on diversifying the bacteria but we're also using those support ingredients to soothe and calm the sensitive skin. Now, when we use these masks, we did a test here, and this will show you the skin test that I talked at the beginning, and they did a test before, showing the different bacteria that were present on the skin, and then they did a test after. Now, the best 
maximum result you'll get is 16 hours afterwards. And I can assure you, if you use a mask and take it off in the treatment room or your client does it at home, their skin will look instantly better. But 16 hours after, this is when you're really giving a chance for those bacteria to have changed and the diversity in the skin to have changed. Now, what they're testing for here is different bacteria on the skin. So you can see here, see this is uh, the orange one here is the C acne. And that's quite prevalent in the skin. So that's really taking up a lot of space. When we do the mask and afterwards, can you see the increase? These are all the different bacteria. This is showing you how diverse the bacteria are 16 hours later. So you can see there were two predominant bacteria here, but once we've done the mask 16 hours later, given that time for that bacteria to ferment and the um, bacteria to diversify, we get a huge difference here in the diversity. And as I said, the diversity of the bacteria is what is really an indicator of skin health. So moving on now to our next mask, which is our skin hydration. As I said, this is again quite self-explanatory hydration, specifically for skins that are looking for extra hydration. So again, you've got the same prebiotics and postbiotics in there to increase diversity, but the support ingredients in here are ceramides. So the ceramides in there, as it says, are lipids and fats that exist in the skin cells and make up to 40% of your outer layer, part of that skin barrier that we discussed at the beginning. Then those ceramides are crucial in aiding your skin to retain moisture. So it's all about hydration. You've got squalene in there and squalene is going to hold on to that moisture. Hyaluronic acid, which we know is a fantastic ingredient to hold moisture in the skin, plump the skin and give radiance. This mask, when you do it straight after the skin looks glowy, radiant, soft, smooth and even. And then remember 16 hours after that, it's going to look even better. You've got Centalia Centella Asiatica in here. And Centella Asiatica is a really potent antioxidant, helps with reducing inflammation and helping with anti-aging benefits. And the same again here, this is showing again the different diversity in the skin. This is before they did the patch test and then this is 16 hours afterwards. So you can see again, big difference in the diversity of the skin and the bacteria. And that's what we're looking for to really be an indicator of skin health. So our next mask, the third mask we're talking about is skin firming. So this biome pre and postbiotics the same again, and this is designed to help with aging, okay? So we have peptides in here, we have vitamin C in here and niacinamide and our licorice and all of those ingredients in there are going to work to repair and firm the skin. So the peptides in there help to increase skin elasticity, elasticity. so they're helping to firm the skin. The vitamin C ascorbic acid is going to work on radiance and glow, the niacinamide in there. The licorice is also really nice and brightening in the skin. And the next slide will show again the difference in the diversity of what we're getting before we do the test. First time round and 16 hours later, once we've done the mask, the difference in the diversity on the skin. Our next mask is our skin vitality. So you can see in here, you've got retinol palmitate. So this is an anti-aging mask. So you've got vitamin C for glow, radiance, collagen production, antioxidant vitamin E, retinol palmitate, anti-aging, firming, collagen production, cell turnover, and tea tree in there as an antioxidant. Same pre and postbiotics, but these beautiful additional ingredients to help work on aging. And that's the diversity difference again. So the same again, we did the test before we use the mask and then 16 hours later to show the difference in that diversity. All of these masks are working to increase the diversity. Then we have our radiance. Our radiance mask is specifically designed to treat hyperpigmentation spots. It will help to target an uneven skin tone and balance the skin's microbiome. Same pre and postbiotics in here, but we have these support ingredients of arbutin, licorice root extract, vitamin E, and centella asiatica. You get beautiful glow and skin evenness after this treatment. Same again, just showing you here the increase in diversity when we've done this um, mask afterwards, we get a huge increase in the diversity and therefore the skin health, improvement in skin barrier, ceramide production, hyaluronic acid, collagen, elastin, all of those things will be improved when the diversity is there in the skin. 
So the 360 box, as I said, will give you one of each of those masks. So that gives you the opportunity to use one of these masks differently, one after the other. So you get the skin calming, the skin hydration, skin firming, skin vitality and skin radiance. You can do a five week course there, one a week. So how do we use these masks? So when you open them up, it's a beautiful celluloid mask there, which isn't going to dry out. So in there, you'll have your serum and then your mask will be infused with that serum. And we can apply that straight onto the skin and leave that for 15 to 20 minutes. I like to do mine in the evening because I put it on and then I leave it on 15, 20 minutes when I'm sitting in bed and I take it off and I just massage it off and just leave that on the skin. And the next day after you've been to sleep, as 16 hours later, your skin will be glowing. So apply the sequential skin mask on the face and leave to act for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove and massage any excess serum into the skin for maximum benefit. Enjoy your radiant skin. If you want to put a hydrator over the top of it, you can. If you want to use them in the morning, you definitely can as well. So the breakthrough formula. Five distinct formulas to target hydration, vitality, radiance, firming, and soothing. So it's the only available sheet mask infused with a pre and postbiotic to work specifically to work on skin diversity. It's going to balance the skin microbiome. You get a really good delivery. Now, each of these masks is very, very generous. You get 25 mil of ingredients. So it's very, very rich in the serum. Some of my salons, what they do is they retail this and then your client can open up the packet and they can use some of that serum for two or three days. And then on the fourth day or the third day, they can use the mask. So you can actually use this serum underneath your moisturizer because there's so much of it in these masks. So you get a really nice um, dose is 25 mil when you think, you know, a lot of the serums you're buying are 30 mil in each packet and you're buying five. Each packet has 25 mil of that beautiful pre and postbiotic um, serum in there. So it sustains the skin moisture content. The masks are made out of a 10 cell gel so they don't dry out sometimes when you use these sheet masks you find that if you leave it on sort of 10 minutes it starts to go dry and crinkly this will not do that it keeps giving moisture to the skin it keeps that hydration happening in the skin you do not feel uncomfortable at all with these masks so these salon masks we can definitely use them in treatments and we can retail them as well. So they can be used in with any professional skincare brand. So I don't mind what product you've got in your salon. You can use this as a mask in a treatment. They work fantastically with all products. So it's ideal for care following needling. Now, a lot of people um, are doing microneedling. Microneedling gives incredible results, but it is going to affect the microbiome. So if you're doing your needling and you use this afterwards, you're increasing the diversity and putting that microbiome and strengthening it again. So I like to use the hydration um, mask after the needling. So the skin hydrator is really, really good. You can use it after laser. Fantastic if you do an LED light treatment. You can use one of these masks straight after that. Dermaplaning. Fantastic after peels as well. Again, a peel gives a great result in the skin, but it is going to affect the microbiome. And using these sequential masks after you've removed that peel will increase the skin barrier and the diversity again. You can use it after dermabrasion as well. Any treatment, this can be incorporated. So it's going to increase treatment efficacy and it's going to be suitable for salon and home use. So your home use, your client can use it once or twice a week. They can just apply it for 20 minutes, or as I say, if they want to, they can open up that mask and use some of that serum for a couple of days before they do the mask as well. All of these masks have a 100% markup for you to use in your salon. That's retail. So I really suggest that you give these masks a chance. They are, without doubt, some of the most exciting cutting edge technology out there. We pretty much can guarantee that where skincare is going is all going to be interlinked with microbiome. So if you've got any questions, you're welcome to call myself, Danielle, or Jemima Dan in Victoria, or call us at Vital Plus with any questions, and we're happy for you to try these, and then come and see us at the Beauty Expo as well, and hear firsthand from Albert about the sequential masks. Thank you for your time today.